Good morning all. My name is Poonam Swapnil Zadha. Working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to see the topic collections in Java programming. Any group of individual objects that are represented as a single unit is known as Java collection of objects. In Java, a separate framework named the collection framework has been defined in JDK 1.2 which holds all the Java collection classes and interface in it. In Java, the collection interface java.util.collection and map interface java.util.map are the two main root interfaces of Java collection classes. Advantages it reduces the programming effort by providing the data structures and algorithms so you don't have to write them yourselves. Increases the performance by providing the high performance implementations of data structures and algorithms because the various implementations of each interface are interchangeable programs that can be tuned by switching implementations provide interoperability between the unrelated APIs by establishing a common language to pass collections back and forth, reduces the effort required to learn APIs by requiring you to learn multiple ad hoc collection APIs, reducing the effort required to design and implement APIs by not requiring you to reproduce to produce the ad hoc collections APIs, foster software reuse by providing a standard interface for collections and algorithms with which to manipulate them. Now this is the collection framework where the uh, inter iterable collection, queue, list, set, dq, sorted set are all interfaces and array list, linked list, vector, stack, array dq, priority queue, hash set, Link set are the classes which implement those interfaces. Now consider the example where a program is there to read all the elements in the array list by using the iterator. Now a class demo is written, the array list is created. Now we are adding the elements in the array list like AISSNS, then IOIT, College, Pune. Once the values are added, by the method add of the array list, then we iterate it means we display it one by one using the iterator method uh, hash next and the values are displayed as a SMS, IOIT, college and Pune. Now there is another program which is you means which shows to delete the elements from the array list. Now we have created the class prog pro after that we have created the array list added sorry added the value as jan feb march april may after that we have displayed the actual array list after displaying we have used the method clear which clears which deletes all the items from the array list so after that when we uh, write the print statement we get uh, no values in that array list now program for the basic hash set operation. Now uh, hash set string h is new hash set. Now what we have done, we have added the values in the hash set. After that we use the methods of the hash set to check. Firstly we print the hash set. After that we are checking whether the hash set is empty or not. It will give us the value true or false. As here the hash set is not empty so it is going to give us the value as false. After that we have used the method remove of the hash set to remove Pune. After that we have again displayed the hash set. After that we have checked the size by using the method size of the hash set h dot size we get the size as true after that we have uh, checked whether the um, hash set contains the um, string iot or not so we use the method h dot contains so as it contains iot it will return the value as true now simple program for hash map so hash map here the value is stored in key value pair so hash map firstly we create the hash map after that, we put 
use the method put to uh, in it, to put the values in it to initialize it with the values. So one is having uh, index one is having a i s s m s q two is having i o i t key three is having pony. After that we are printing the values after uh, key value pair. After that we are printing individual value like if I want to get the uh, value for the key two. So we have written HMP dot get to so we will get the value as IOIT. We are checking whether the hash map is empty or not by using uh, is empty method. So it returns us as false because it is not empty. After that, uh, HMP dot remove third, but here third key is not there, so and nothing would be removed. Then system dot uh, print ln HMP. Now the value key value pair would be printed after that the size would be printed using the method size so the we get the size is 3 so in this way we have studied the topic collection uh, of the java programming thank you